back in the South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the Gunshine State. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating. It's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of fakes, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk. That can get you. All right, man, we back. Crib talk, Caneville. Hey, who's got a Rolex dog? What that is, bro? A little Rolex. Listen, man. Shout out to everybody. Sign up for the members. A couple new members signed up. Uh, you want to join us in the in the description down there at the bottom. Members, the community section. That's where you get come be part of the group. Me. That's where all the information that um, I see a lot of y'all still not going over there. So if you're a current member, the community section, go check it out. It's on the main page of the Footballville um, of the Footballville YouTube. Yeah, like, like people starting to, they starting to holler, holler at me and like, man, they be trying to subscribe and they say they can't or something. I'm like, man, I don't know how you can't. It's, yeah, it's, it's actually easy. subscribe button? Yeah, I'm like, just hit the subscribe button. What they say happen? They said it's not allowing them. So I'm like, man, I don't know. They, they got to be like something on your hand because it's easy know. to Maybe subscribe. Sus- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the easiest thing to do to subscribe. Oh, no, I'll look into that. But, um... Listen, uh, crazy day in college football yesterday. First of all, first of all, man, we're gonna shout out to Brian Bollum, man. Bollum got hurt. Well, he, he got hurt a couple got weeks hurt ago. Out for the season. Um, talked to his dad, doing real good in school. Think he made like the honor roll. Shout out to him, man. Uh, Cause at the end of the day, boy, football is temporary. It is football temporary. Uh, education and you earn your education and you 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 is 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 forever. Nobody can take that from you. Um, so shout out to Brian Bollum. Uh, Yesterday, college football was a bunch of big games yesterday. Oh, man, big game. Penn State, Iowa, that was a good one. Man, Iowa was lit, man. I just, man. you think Iowa got some five stars? Nah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Iowa they don't. was lit, they, 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 they showed the chart. They were like, man, Iowa probably biggest. They, 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 well, they got one, I think, one offensive of line, but. They got one. Yeah, they, but they skill positions be like, oh, they low three stars, but. Ain't even about that. You see how they, they they play, man, when they get together. What makes them good? Coaching. Like the coaching, the culture, man. Did you watch a, the game? Well, I was at Tussie, man, so you know I was watching all of every game, man. But. Well that pass that quarterback threw. What was it? Overtime. It went to overtime, right? Was yeah. That man, that pass he threw in that overtime, man. Damn, what that thing was big time, boy. I, that right there goes to show you that it's not. It's it's not solely ever. Re- it's not. It's recruiting. not always about recruiting. Yeah, it's not always about recruiting. Um, it's, it's well, I know somebody said it was you recruit the players to fit your system. You know what I'm saying? So you don't basically just say, "Oh, I'm gonna recruit this kid because he's a top talent," but can he fit my system? And I think that's what Miami doing. They be recruiting kids because they're just top talent, but then they don't fit your system. That's where the school fails the kid because if a kid is good, the kid is good. But does he fit your system? And that's that's the thing. Like Iowa recruiting players that fit their system. You think if Iowa had a chance to recruit anybody in the nation, right? Right. If Iowa could get on board and get a Brandon in it, so they can get on the board and get a. Um, I mean, yeah. If you if, time out, time out. Let me ask a question now. You think they would pass up on the Nigel Kellys and the James Williams to get the player that fit their system? Or that's some shit you say oh, when nah, you can't get. Nah, they. I don't, <laughs> Help me understand, nah, nah. dog. Like, help me understand how this works. No, you think like, they'll pass up on? on nah, on they're the, not passing up on, on the Shamar Stewart to get the player no. to fit their system. No, they're not oh, gonna pass but, up on that. Well, help but, me understand how this fit the system recruiting work. I'm saying, like, if they if they had a brand where they could recruit naturally like that, of course they you don't pass on on that. But they know they can't. They know they can't just come out and go to South Florida and say, yeah, we Iowa. Come to Iowa. What, what? So Miami system don't call for four stars and five stars and high, <laughs> highly talented NFL players. <laughs> what, what are we saying? I mean, I'm just okay. And just, just look at remember when Boise State was good. They wasn't recruiting actors, real, but he recruited players that fit his fit, that fit his system. He had a system. I think I think they had a system. And if you plug it in and give the coach enough time anywhere to work, whether you have all stars or whether yeah. you have three stars, I mean that's how I kind of look at it. Um, so the ACC, man, is completely uh, wide open. I mean, I don't even know what to call well, it. Well, you can't even predict the on game. The coastal, on the coastal part, um, to, on, on the other side too, like well, Wake Forest, Wake Forest is at the top, right? There. Yeah, Wake Forest the one over there. On that side, it's Pittsburgh and Virginia Tech. 
Pittsburgh Virginia Tech is at the top and they undefeated. Yeah, they both won it. So break it down. You was breaking it down. I walked in here. You was all excited about Miami future and their chance. <laughs> break yeah, it down, man. Huh? Like, just, I mean, the, the truth and the facts are that in the coastal, Pittsburgh, Virginia Tech, and you on you on you on we we own one, mm-hmm. but everybody else has two losses and three losses. You will still got to play Pittsburgh and Virginia Tech. Pittsburgh got to play Virginia Tech. All you don't gotta do is just win, and we there. Like everybody will have a loss or two losses, and you almost still be with that one loss. And if you just win, beat Pittsburgh and Virginia Tech, you you won. So basically, they control their own destiny. They control. We always control our own destiny, though. <laughs> always, every year we control our own destiny. But it's like somebody cut it short. Well, no, they cut it short. Like so, what happened at North Carolina yesterday? Cause we think this Florida State team Man, was so bad. North Carolina is bad. They slow. They look slow. Their defense looks slow. Their receivers. It, I mean, their receivers couldn't get open. They like I'm talking about literally could not get open. They look worse than us when we out there running passes. They couldn't get open. The quarterback Sam Howell, that that preseason hype is dead. He that's he done. Like, and I'm not saying he's not good, but. You see what happens when you lose all your weapons, and then now you gotta rely on other people, other players, and they're not as good as the people you had before. So did did is North Carolina bad? Or did Florida State are they playing better? Florida State and playing better. That's I'm what, get two to ACC it. wins, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get they playing better, but North Carolina is bad. They 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 look slow. I like Florida State was running right by them. Like when Travis Jordan broke, and nobody could catch him. I'm like. You know. Oh my gosh. Next week, this time, we'll be talking about Miami versus North Carolina. So yeah, yeah. Trailer yeah. lightly. I mean, <laughs> but no. North Carolina. Lightly, I how said bad, it. I how said bad it. you think they are? I said, I said, man, North Carolina next week going to look like the number one team in the nation <laughs> against you. <laughs> what? So, okay, so North Carolina, what? Two ACC losses? Three. Three ACC losses. They done for. Do get the bottom. Yeah, do get the bottom. Do get the bottom. So, Pitt. Undefeated and Virginia Tech undefeated. You scared of any one of them? Who you scared of? Pittsburgh, man. They offense playing good. Yeah. They they like they putting up 40, 50 points a game. <laughs> and then you know Virginia Tech always like that's always a game that if Virginia Tech come, you could pretty much know if you're gonna win the game in the first quarter or not. Because Virginia Tech come and they look like they doing something, it's done. We got Pitt here. No, I think we played them up there. And we got Virginia Tech. Up there. Up there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I said it's funny you say that though. I, I said the same thing in the um in the group me yesterday where, where the members at. Miami control, all they gotta do is win. Like this thing is wide open, all they have to do is win. But they're gonna jump right in the midst of the thing and then they're gonna win the game. They they're gonna win the game, they ain't got no business win, then they're gonna lose some games, they ain't got no business losing, and it's gonna be the same thing at the end of, of the you know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the year. But I hate to, I'm to tell you this. Um, down in Miami, man, they seem to think that, uh, talk to people on the staff, they seem to think they're going to be fine. And they probably, they, of they, they probably I mean, looking at the same thing. Um, they probably looking at the same thing you're looking at. They, but they, they don't. I mean, that's what Diaz said. Like, even after the Michigan State loss, he was like, okay, well, our goal is still there, which is the ACC on our side. I mean, but... That's the goal every year. And it's like, like you just said, we'll win the game we ain't supposed to win. We'll lose the game we ain't supposed to lose. So, we ain't got nothing but ACC games left. So, like I said, I mean, the goal is still there. It, but it's like saying the only reason the goal is still there is because you ain't walked down the road yet. <laughs> it's, because the, it's because the games are there to be played. But nothing you've done so far shows that you're going to stand up and take anything. Up and win anything. Yeah, nah. I mean, the way we played this whole season right now, I don't see. I just don't see it. Basing off the five games we played, I just don't see it. Um, we ain't go to. They, they didn't let us at practice this week, so we don't know what went on. If the team looked better, or what? Who knows? But I just didn't see it for the five games. Um, and now we're finna play a very angry North Carolina team. Did they practice this week? Yeah, they practice. They were practicing. Yeah, they practice. Yeah, yeah, because they, they didn't have any any media. 
But, but they, they normally do that. It, like, cause um, the previous years, I remember after uh, uh, on a bye week, we wouldn't get, we wouldn't get that. We they wouldn't give us um access. Access. I don't know why, but now I just when I think when when, when I was like, dang, we didn't go to practice this whole week. I like I thought about it. I said, yeah, that's right. They don't never give us access during the bye week. King King does like. Is it possible? Um, he can play? They saying he's back out there. Like I don't know if he's back out there practicing, but he's moving around. Um, but then I, I don't man. That's that, that shoulder injury that he had. Ain't no just. Let me just heal up for a couple of weeks, man. That takes time. So we really don't know. We really, we really don't know what, what's going on with that. Nah, I don't know. And then Jake's still out to November, so it's like right now it's TBD. It's him and then right. on the backup of uh, the, the, the walk on. No, he's not a walk on, is yeah. he? Yeah. Pat Sean now. He's a walk on. He's scholarship. Matola, wasn't he? Matola, yeah, he's on scholarship, right? I think he's on scholarship, so yeah, it's that, so. Yesterday, Texas, Alabama walked into Texas AM and. Hey, man, Alabama, boy. You think so? I'm, I'm not saying they man, but they, they offensive line and D line was, they were doing to, to, to Bama what Bama do to everybody else. Ja'Cory Brooks blocked a, a, a field goal or a punt. I think he blocked a punt yesterday. Think about that. Ja'Cory Brooks blocked a punt. Ja'Cory Brooks is on special teams blocking punts. <laughs> and he may one day be a first round. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Best if he was here, he'd probably be our receiver one. Uh, well, I told, I told you. I said if Corey Brooks was at you, and right now he'd be number one. It wouldn't be no if hands and butts about it. Right, right. He blocked the punt, and they scored a touchdown off of it, and then I think Texas A&M came right back and ran kickoff back. Um, good game. Like, Alabama came out, and Texas A&M was taking their time to come out. You could have heard the commentators. I'm sure Nick Saban didn't like that. Kiss Nick off. Texas said, Jim ain't give a damn this day. Listen, when Man. that game started, right? No, before you, you, before, know. You, before you even get into that, well, listen. We got to play Texas A&M at Texas A&M next year. And you seen the stadium. Yeah. Man. We beat them there before, though, right? Randy Shannon beat them. Yeah. Beat them there before. That is, during, that was, the day, that, during the day. That day. was a totally different team. We talking about Texas A&M right now. We ain't talking mm-hmm. about that. Well, Texas A&M, was, uh, they was disappointing until last night. I mean, but Jim, oh, man, Jim. Jimbo's the coach. Don't act like Jimbo can't still recruit and get his guys up to play. Before they game, it was like Nick Saban faces somebody else from his coaching tree, and he's, he's 24-0. 24-0. You should have known right there. Here come the hell. <laughs> he's 24-0 versus his coaching tree. He's never lost to anybody in his coaching tree. That game started, man. I looked at my girl. I was like, boy, this looks like one of them games. They went up. Oh, Alabama hasn't been down in 15 games. They did. They were down. They scored. Alabama went up. Then they went back up again. I was like, well, here we go. It's going to be one of them games. Oh, people said Bryce Young, Texas A&M made Bryce Young look average. He can't go back to average. As a freshman, once you start, he beat Florida at Florida. Like, he can't go back to average. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and when I looked at his stats in the third quarter, he was like 20 for 32, 260 yards, two touchdowns. And the interception. That's Nicosi Perry. Hey, oh God. <laughs> Y'all keep calling for Nicosi Perry. That's Nicosi Perry. Stats in every game. Nicosi Perry. Um, speaking of Nicosi Perry, man, how they did this week? Uh, I didn't even check it for a- FAU. No? Nah. No. Nah. It was so many big games, man. The, the, the Texas and um, o- Oklahoma game, that was a crazy one. Take who won? Oklahoma, Texas, 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 Texas was up 28-7. Yeah. And I'm like, man, the game is over. I'm telling the people at Tussie, man, switch this. Put, this, put the, the, the old Miss game and on. And they came back on them? And they came back. They um, they took their quarterback out. Oklahoma took um Spencer. Spencer. Uh, oh, they benched him? Benched him. Like, benched him. As soon as they put the other boy here, that's wow. there. Yeah. They benched him, man. And um, the old Miss and um, – Ole Miss and uh, Arkansas was another good game, man. I see why everybody loves Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin is just, he's a coach that he knows what he's doing on the field, and then the fans are going to love him by what he does. Yeah. One play, he does it all the time. He called a play, as soon as the quarterback said hi, he throws his kick for it, and he puts his hands up, touchdown, before the ball even throws. And it was a touchdown? And it was a, t- it was a touchdown. You can show me. Um... I don't think, I don't know, Miami wants somebody like that here. 
I, man, they need something. They, need they do. They need somebody. He, he'll fill them stands. He's, up. The, he's the entertainer. You want people to come watch the game? He's going. Right. To, he's going to have people come watch the game. Right. Right. You did any high school this weekend? Nah, All tissues, um, huh? All yeah, tissues. <laughs> All tissues. Yeah, Went to see Western at Coconut Creek the other night, man, and um, this is the third time I've seen Western. Um, and Western has a wide receiver with Juju. He's maybe six one. I don't know, 195, 200 pounds, kind of big kid. Um, but he's been dominant in every game I've seen. Uh, he Against St. Thomas in the loss, I think he had like 150 yards receiving or something like that. The other night, man, he was unstoppable. <laughs> How did the quarterback look? Um, uh, Colin, he looked good. He always looked good. But he's throwing the ball. He, he, okay, well, yeah, he's throwing well, the they ball. they have a lot of weapons. The other kid who came from um, New Orleans, who came, who was he, he's hurt. He, the kid who was playing with uh, Peyton Manning, little son. Oh, okay. Yeah, he he he's hurt. But they still have they have a, they have a lot of they have a few weapons. But he gives he, he gives Juju a chance to to he hits a lot of targets. You know what I'm saying? And he and he and he come through. They had the McMullen was sticking. They had McMullen sticking on McMullen was cramping up. Um, some he was. He was hurt. I'd be hurt too. So if I, if that man is that man has been killing people. When he faced the kid out of Chaminade, um, oh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan told me in the interview, Juju got the best of him in the first half. He kept running slants on him. It, it's just there's kids out there in South Florida, man, like that. Um, he was committed to Georgia Tech, decommitted to Georgia Tech. I asked him why. He told me he didn't know. So it just, just he said he didn't know why, but. Juju, he's 22 or 23? No, this is last year. Oh, he's 22? Oh. Yeah, this is last year. Um, he's a D1 kid, fool. He's a D1 kid. He has a lot of talent. And I don't know how it's going to end for him. But it's kids like that that I don't understand. Like, like Miami, okay, fine. Let alone Miami. Miami have some kids on their recruiting class right now, wide receiver, that I've been questioning. What about FIU and FAU? Like, how do they not? How they not on the ball? I mean, they probably are, but. You think he's not paying attention to <clears throat> Yeah, but, it, okay, you scratch FIU and FAU, like Central Florida. Right, right, Florida right. Florida right. State, Florida. It, it's, it got to be a school in the state of Florida that says, we're not going to let Juju go to uh, Ole Miss. Right, right. Or we're not going to let him go to. Keep him in the state of Florida, you know what right. I'm saying? It don't, it don't make sense to me. Now, they're saying that he may not be that fast, but it doesn't make – I don't care if he's not that fast. He's performing week in and week yeah, out man. versus South Florida talent. And so whatever he has, you know what I'm saying, whatever he has is a talent is a talent that some college could use. And I don't – and I, it, just, it, it just baffles me. Not necessarily <laughs> Miami, Florida State, that level, but like you say, UCF, FAU. Like, how are they not – just courting this man like uh like how they how, how they not all over him i don't understand <laughs> I, I don't understand but he's been impressive man three times i've seen him play um <clears throat> but y'all make sure y'all y'all like share man we're gonna be right back man let's take a break oh, don't take three, 